Hi everyone and welcome to Abacus. Uh, my name is Charlotte and I will be talking you through how to submit your corporate card expenses through Abacus. So to get started, um, I'm going to show you how to do that on the mobile app, um, which can be seen in this simulator here in the foreground. So when you log uh, into your Abacus app, um, you'll see these three icons at the bottom. And if you're someone with a corporate credit card, you'll have this card icon on the right. And this little red badge will tell you how many new credit card transactions you have to submit. So uh, to submit those transactions, you're gonna go ahead and click on that icon. And then you'll be brought to a screen with two tabs. Um, you have your suggestions and your cards. So your cards tab will be every single card transaction um, that you have in your account. And to submit one, all you need to do is just click on it and fill out any additional information like a note for the business purpose, the category, your department, and these will be your actual departments, uh, and a facility, and just uh, tap on this camera icon to attach a receipt. And you can either, if this was a real phone, this would actually, um, you would have the option to pop open your camera here so you can snap a picture of a physical receipt. You can choose from your saved receipts that you have in Abacus already, or you can um, choose from the library on your phone. So I'll just, as an example, choose this. And then you would just go ahead and send it in. Um, and that's really it. Suggested expenses um, are a way that Abacus makes it even faster for you to submit your corporate card expenses. And what this is, is it matches, it pre-matches receipt images to your credit card transactions. So if you get into the habit of a receipt first workflow by saving your receipts in your Abacus account, and then just letting your card transactions flow through, we will read the amount on the receipt and match it to your card transaction. Um, if there is, uh, and you can see in this example, when I popped it open, it already had the amount, the vendor, it already had the receipt in there, and it already had the date, and you just have to fill in department and facility and category and note. So in this example, um, I'm gonna pop open the suggested expense and you can see it's pretty much almost already filled out for me, including the category because this is a vendor that you re that the system recognizes. So for Uber, I've already called this location uh, local travel and taxi. And so it will remember that for the next expense it will suggest this category for me. And then all I'd have to do is fill out department facility and then just click send. So that is the mobile app. Um, it's really important that you start all of these expense submissions with this card icon here. This blue icon in the middle is for reimbursable expenses only. So please be careful with that because you're just gonna wanna keep those separate from the corporate card expenses which should be submitted using this button over here. So now I'm gonna pop over into the web app and review those features on the web. Um, so you can see on this navigation panel over here, uh, the, the three tabs to focus on here are namely gonna be your suggested expenses. And again, this is your list of transactions that where the card transaction has already matched the receipt. So we'll give this a second to load here. Okay, so this is just a list of your suggested expenses. And um, I wanna find a good one here. Uh, this will be all your credit card transactions 
And if there's already been a receipt saved in your account, like there has been for this Uber, um, it will have matched with that transaction already. So all you would need to do is select the additional uh, department and facility information, and these would obviously be your actual departments and facilities, and then just click Quick Expense to send in that card transaction. Um, down below here is your full list of card transactions. So again, uh, you can see some of these have matched already with the receipt, but this will be everything in your card list and you can just click expense from here. Fill out the additional details and then just click send. So I uh, want to quickly talk about receipts again. So these are receipt images that I've taken a picture of from the app. Um, there are a couple other uh, cool ways to save receipts in your account. Um, the first is emailing. So um, if you're emailing from your continuing healthcare email address, just forward your receipts to receipts at abacus.com and they will be stored on this page and match up with those card transactions. So get into the habit of doing that and it'll make your life a lot easier. You can also upload receipts directly from this upload receipts button. And the next feature I want to review with you guys is trips. So Trips are a great way to organize your expenses while you're traveling. Um, so these are trips that I've created in the past. And so to create a new trip, you would just create this create trip button. You would name it. And pick an end start date and an end date. And if an expense falls within that date range, we will suggest that that expense be associated with that trip. And then it makes it really easy for you to look back and see, okay, in this Europe conference that I was on, I've already spent this amount of money across three total expenses, and I would just click into those total ex that number and see all of the expenses previously submitted associated with that trip. So I'm on my expense list here, and I just want to be uh, really clear to make this distinction for you corporate card folks out there. Um, this new expense button, this is for reimbursable expenses only. So if you are uh, submitting your corporate card expenses, you're not going to want to press this button. You're going to want to go into either your suggested expenses or your cards page. If you do it this way, then that's going to be, you're going to get uh, paid back for that expense. So um, so then to review just a couple other settings, uh, just in the account and settings page here, you have um, your personal information, which you can add, uh, your bank account information, which you're going to want to connect a bank account for your reimbursable expenses here, your bank transfer history, you can change your password, um, your email accounts, this is also um, an important one. So if you have a personal email that you might be receiving receipts to, you can add that email account here and you'll need to verify it. And then you can also forward receipts to receipt at abacus.com um, and they will be stored in your abacus account. Uh, lastly, you can adjust your notification settings here. So back in my expense list here, um, this is just a history of any expenses that you've submitted in the past. Um, and you'll have this notification here, expense your new corporate card transaction. So whenever you log into your account, if you have new transactions that you need to submit, you can just click on this button here and it will take you to your expense list. Um, and then if it makes it easier, again, personally, I like the suggested expenses page a little bit better. It's essentially the same thing, only it'll help you um, just quickly fill out that additional information and quickly submit those credit card transactions. So again, uh, so if there's any questions about how to submit your corporate credit card transactions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at abacus.com and we'd be happy to help and we hope you enjoy using Abacus. Thanks.